what is happening everybody so check it out so the trend has been holding true now i wasn't initially going to continue um you know doing like every stage no um clear that i advanced to right like i you know i was doing you know like 23 and then i skipped the, i had a few stages and then i did like you know a couple more um and what i'm going to try to do if if i get a good you know good feedback and a good response from this video you know it, it gets it gets you know uh, a decent amount of views and likes and and so on and so forth and you know just just good and positive feedback i'll continue to like like kind of document my progress through um through null you know through these higher stages um so you know you guys can see what it's looking like and you know just like what techniques and strategy i use um now here's the thing I, I can go back in and just like clear these stages like right now but it wouldn't be authentic right so i actually have my um in this video i'm gonna play stage 33 and 34 and then you know moving forward i could do i could do like every stage right and just like do two of them in two runs in like one video or i can like do stage 33 and 34 today and then maybe like 38 and 39 or something like that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on the feedback from you guys, and you let me know, you know, what you guys want to see and, and and how how you like this stuff. Um, so I'm going to so these runs they're they're about they're about four minutes each, right? So and, and I have I have some comments that I responded to. I have that um, pre-recorded, and depending on the overall length of the video, I may throw some of those in because it seems like you guys like that. Next up. Uh, okay, and this is Alprian Tioman. He, he commented on um, the Ghost Rider Rage vs. Judgment video. Uh, he says, Rising Star in Marvel Future Ride community. Love the vids, bro. Keep up the good work. You can do Awaken character comparison. Roast me. I'm a mid uh, spender VIP 6. His uh, IGN is Alpix. Uh, thanks, man. I, re I really appreciate that. I'm getting a lot of positive you know, feedback and support from the community. That's one of the reasons you know, that, that keeps me going, that keeps me bringing you videos every single day. Because some days it's not that easy for me to you know, get down here and actually you know, make, make these videos. But I try, I try to make it work to bring you guys you know, some stuff every day. Um, we'll see just how far we can actually go. Um, okay. Uh, let, let's see. I'll pop over to your account really, really quickly. I actually didn't want to do any of these rows here because I want to try to keep the length on the videos on the shorter side. But we'll uh, we'll pop over there quickly. So let's go, Alpix, Alpix. All right, got the Yuli Spider-Man fan. I wonder what you got on him. Okay, so Amadeus Cho, what are you you working on his uniform? Got a uh, 200 proc on him. That that's that's not bad. I mean, he's he's not bad, but he's just not all that great. Like I I used him for for null. Like when I first started playing null, and he actually he did he did pretty good. Um, I I did crescent lead with Moon Knight and Amadeus Cho, and that actually that worked out pretty well. Okay, so you got a, a PVP build on Sentry. Um, I mean, Sentry might be one of the characters that you 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 could you know put throw Odin's blessings on if you have a PVP build on him, but Typically, you don't you don't you don't want to do that. Um, you want to put your Odin's blessings on your PVE characters, unless you got like you know a ton of them. Even then, even then, um, the eight, give them as much HP and, and cap in their dodge is going to be beneficial. So if you've given them all the if you give them heal Odin's blessing, um, two HP, and your dodge is capped, and your ignore defense and cooldown are capped, then at that point you can give them Odin's blessings. Then it would be beneficial. But until all those um, until all those parameters are, are, are met, um, I wouldn't do that. Okay, boy, Quicksilver. He's still got the old uni on him. Um, he's not necessarily needed for anything right now. Got a rage on on uh, man Odin. Got a couple Odin's bless on blessings on him. It's pretty good. And again, same 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 thing with Silver Surfer. Let's see what you got on Thanos. So PVP build. Yeah, I, I would I would take those Odin blessings off. Give them to somebody that actually matters. What kind of obelisk? Uh, Garber Max HP. Okay, so you use them for like some PvP action. Authority on Jean. Um, I'd probably, you know, if you have a greed, give give her give her the greed and again, um, take the Odin's blessings off of her. Energy on Mr. Fantastic. Not not bad. I, I think he could do well with that. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Did I um I didn't look at your cards. Let, let, let's do let's do this first. Okay, so you got got some decent cards. You got four blue on this guy. You got energy tag green over here. I'm guessing you're probably gonna want to try to get the, roll that one. Maybe when you get enough cubes or enough uh, you know P cards. Um, you got the Loki card. This isn't the worst roll. You have energy attack and all attack, 
um, on it. But I, I would obviously you're, you're going to want to replace these two here, Loki and the Civil War card. And I would try to even replace that one. This Loki card isn't bad. This one, this one's pretty good. You know, especially you know if you don't have a whole lot of options. And then. Yeah, this one's good as well. Not a bad roll. Energy attack cooldown max HP. Obviously, you can get the both, you know, the attack stats. But yeah, I would, I would, I would um, work on. Obviously, like I said, these two you're gonna want to replace in this low key card. This it's not the worst roll, but if you have other options, I would look at the Gardens of the Galaxy card. You, you know, Black Panther, Cable, Luna, White Fox. Those are good options. All right, let, let's let's pop back over here. Um, what do you got on this guy? Okay, so he's he's got a, he's rocking a, a pretty decent build. Judgment on Thor. So yeah, once you start getting more Pierce on your cards, that Judgment's going to prove to be more valuable for Null. Right, you got Null here. Still working on his build. Gears F5. It's okay. Wow, Insight on Valkyrie. Man, oh man. I know you probably had that honor right, from before. And maybe you're waiting for the 50% uh, off CTP unequipped. Because I would definitely get that offer and I would, I would, get, I would give her a decent build. See, uh, Moonstone. Yeah, I would take some of those Odin blessings. Give them to Moonstone. She's going to. She's going to be a blessing. Come, uh, high, come, come. Null or higher stages of Null. I don't know where you're completing now. Nice, nice. You got uh, Odin's blessing on this guy, you get, but you got a rage on him. Definitely get that off. Go watch my uh, Moon Knight um, rage energy comparison video. Even if, even without Pierce in your cards, I know he does. He does very well with energy compared to rage. All right. Uh, thanks for commenting, buddy. Uh, we were, we're going to move on to the next one here. Okay, that was that guy. All right. Your videos are great. Uh, you are a great teacher, by the way, so I'm going to watch all of them because I need some extra help. Can you do some World Boss Ultimate with uh, with uh, one team's... My IGN is... Uh, I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm not going to try. And I need some advice uh, to pick my next tier three in Transcendence character. Greetings from. Okay, thank you for the compliments, man. Um, I'm not gonna jump on your account now just because um, because of the time. Um, but you know what? I'll save this comment and, I, and I'll I'll get to you. I'll get to you maybe in the next one or the one after that. Um, and I'll give you my my advice on that. I'm not really sure what you mean, World Boss Ultimate with one's team. I'm not sure what you mean by that. So you have to specify that as well. And that was from Azu. Um, which you know, I, I think it's pretty fun. I, you know, it gets gets the community involved and uh, and all in that sort of thing. So because I've been yelled at in the past, I'm going to show my build and my cards on these um, basically the two main damage dealing characters for these runs, and it's the same team up for these runs here. And both the runs they're going to look they're going to look pretty similar. They're going to look very similar. So I use Sharon Rogers. Now she has 14 Odin's blessings, fully awakened ice await set, and she has this energy on energy with beatdown and i also use i so use main bay uh moonstone and she has a full stack fully awakened iso set and she has beatdown as well she has a brilliant so i mean they're rocking some pretty substantial builds here and my cards it doesn't get that much better than this um and you know uh, so the the energy attack is basically what matters 141.8 and I didn't have this much pierce. I had 16% pierce um, during these runs here. Okay, so keep keep that in mind. That's basically the only th only thing that changed in terms of them. I did have energy attack on this card instead of all attack, but and it wasn't all blue. But that that really doesn't matter. It's not gonna it's not gonna really change anything. The only thing that's really gonna change is the conquer level. So if I went in now to do it, it would actually be a bit easier because that conquer level it matters. It matters a lot. So let's pull this up here. So let's do uh, let's do 33 first, right? That would only make sense. And let's play that track, baby. So it's gonna be this guy right here. Here we go. Yeah, I'm using Cyclops lead. Um, actually, I put I ended up putting Insight on Cyclops. Um, Yep, and he has it on for this run here, as you can see. See, there's there's three proc boxes up there in the corner. Now, this is this is what I would say is my pre, um, you know, before I, I really learn how to play Sharon Rogers. Um, I th actually I think I, I kind of did it there, but um, so there's it, it, if you haven't watched my Sharon Rogers redemption video, watch that because the the the. The gameplay is much better. It's much better in that video. 
And, you know, I, so I, I've learned some things since then. And I think it would be beneficial for for anybody because the damage difference is it's much different. So here, just you know, just so happened that I was actually very close to null. I didn't know beforehand. So yeah, if you don't know, um, to to get that tier three to actually work, you need to be like as close to null as possible. So there, what I should have done was I should have did the three cancel five. Got pushed back, ran into the purple circle, and then and then went and, and attacked it. So these runs, they actually they weren't all that difficult, only because of Moonstone. I mean, my my goodness, she is an absolute blessing to the game. But here I'm doing the same thing where you know I I cancel the um, I cancel the three, or I hit the three before he jumps. But yeah, Sharon Rod, she, she, she's very good for the 30 to 0 bar phase. And like I said, since then, I um, learned to play her a little bit better. But yeah, it would have been nice to, been able to be able to take them down before these circles came. Because the thing is, with Moonstone, it's very beneficial to have that 4 off of cooldown after he's done with this phase. You know, for, for that accumulation. That's one of the reasons why I switched there. Also because she has her tier 3. I should have accumulated, which it looks like I might have. I honestly don't know. Um, but, you know, it, it's funny on her tier 3. Somebody said her, her tier 3 already has, like, accumulation. I'll, I'll, I'll have to go look at that. I'll check that out. But, yeah, and right here you can do damage. Don't get... See, yeah, I don't know what happened here. This is goofy. This is super goofy. He should have landed over there, and I was actually going to pop the 5, cancel into 3, and that should have... That should have taken him down quite quite a bit. Mighty might even have taken him down all the way to the seven. I'm not so I'm not so sure about that. Let, let's see. Let's see. If I can take him down here, then I know I would have been able to take him down to the seven there. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have been able to get him all the way down, but after he jumped there, that's when I would have been able to get him all the way down. And the clear time would have been, you know, a little bit faster. So there here I should have hit the three. I should have hit the three there before he jumped. Let him you know slam on top of me and um but yeah as you can see when he does that that those tentacles um he uh he debuffs you i believe and somebody told me that he debuffs you um at that time so keep that in mind that's why like if you're realizing the damage isn't isn't all that good weekends off or whatever that is notifications man story of my life And yeah, there there's an excellent time to to attack with Moonstone. What I what I just did there. So yeah, I mean to clear this stage with a minute and twenty three seconds left, like that's that's pretty amazing in my opinion, and it should give you guys some some good feelings about um, about reaching this stage, right? Especially if you have, if you have Moonstone. Oh yeah, here I think I actually I go and I collect this. So let let's let's see what I get. Let's see if I get anything juicy here. Let's fast forward. Go to my inbox. Let's see what I get. I get anything good? And some TCP. Okay. All right. And 101. Not the worst thing. It could be feathers, right? Could be feathers. All right. Let's. Okay, so stage, yeah. All right, so let's jump into 34 here. Okay, here it is. Here's the run. Yeah, the, the video, I actually, I started playing it, and um, it was, I, I retried in the video. I got a little ways through, and I, and I retried because I made, I made a mistake during the run. So here, here it is. And yeah, you you guys let me know if um, you know if this is something that you guys want to want to see. I mean, I I think I think it's cool to see. You know, if I was at a lower stage, to see what's going on. And yeah, like I said, you know my my gameplay with Sharon Rogers, it's it's kind of it's kind of despicable here. Although um, right there, I, I I caught the purple without really knowing you know what was going on, but. Had I known um, what I showed in, in the video before this one, the uh, the Sharon Rogers Redemption one, 
um, this this run would have definitely went a lot smoother. And you know, I, w I wish I known it, but hey, you can't can't go back in time. But yeah, move, moving forward, um, I think I could probably even clear. Um, I could probably even clear this stage solo with Sharon Rogers now with with that gameplay strategy. And why I'm not using her tier three, I think I'm just trying to save it. I think I'm trying to save it for when um, you know when Null gets off his throne. So yeah, not not the smoothest run, but you know what? This should this should you know give some players some some. Some, some good feelings, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what I did there. Uh, I think I must have accidentally hit that skill. But I get, I get it done, so, it, it, and yeah, it, it, should, it should give you some good feelings. So, like, you can actually make mistakes during this. Like, if you watch my Stage 23 run, there was no mistakes to be made. No mistakes. It's like I had to be on point during that whole entire run in order to just get that done. Like, here, like... You can see there's a lot there's a lot of nonsense happening. A lot of nonsense. But, you know, we 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 still get it done. And yeah, like I said, you know, I, I could go back in and, and do it now, do it a lot easier and more efficiently, but I want you guys to see the uh, the authentic the authentic run where my conquer level is at and, and, and all that stuff because that's that that's really important. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, um, like what, okay, so for somebody that's maybe on stage five now, right, what your conqueror level is actually going to be at by the time, say, you get up to stage 30, is it going to be much higher than where mine is right now? I would imagine so, right? So that should make, that should make your runs you know, easier just on that note. Just on that note, um, it, it should make it should make it a bit easier. So yeah, here I think I'm I'm trying to um, at least get Sharon Rogers um, tier three on the next rotation. Otherwise, I would have brought um, Moonstone. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what 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 I was doing. Okay, do I, I don't die here, do I? Nope. I was going to say, because if I did die, there's no way I would have been able to clear this with just Sharon Rogers. We kind of need... Um, at, at this stage where my conquer level is at, like I said, I think I can clear with her now solo because I'm, I'm kind of breezing through, like, you know, stage 29 with her. So it might be a little bit of a challenge, but... And yeah, you can see, like, almost died there. Almost died there with her. You know, if you, I do die with her, but if it, you know, if I was a second, like you know, a split second, uh, you know, later with that with that third skill, it would have it would have been a done deal. And he is done. A minute and five seconds left on a very sloppy run, very sloppy. And over five million on the on the growth score, but you know, like I said. Um, growth score is calculated by your build and then your overall clear time, right? And of course, the stage that, that you're clearing takes takes into effect. And I, I have a I have a pretty bad build on Cyclops. It's it's not good at all. So I don't know. It, it, you know that's not really all that important to me to have. Like you know, I'm not going to build up Cyclops just to just to be on that board there. I think that's a waste. You know, I'm I'm a bit more practical than that. Um, you know, because I have insight on him. I'm not going to give Odin's blessings to a character I have insight on. No, no way. I don't know. Would you? Would you give in Odin's blessings to a character that you have insight on? Just for, um, just for, you know, your your name on the board there. So, anyways, there it is, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, let me know. Let me know if this is something that you want me to continue to do. Um, and you know what? So it just occurred to me during the video. I think I think it would be a good idea if I do maybe like, um, so once the team changes, right? So from like every five and ten. So if I did like thirty four and thirty five, and then thirty nine and forty, right? I could do something like that. So this way, it's not the same exact team, because chances are you're going to be playing with the same exact team up from you know one stage to the next if the requirements are the same. So I, I think that's a pretty good idea, you know, just to break it up, but still document 
you know, me going all the way up to 99 just to see, you know, like, you know, how the how the cards are affecting it, build and conquer level and so on and so forth, right? Just to give you guys some insight on what to expect. Um, so yeah, let, let me know on that. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned, stay breezy, but most of all, you stay safe out there. Peace.